Hello everybody, it's me Faith and in today's video I wanted to discuss Igalamuzi, scientifically known as Acorus calamus. So Igalamuzi is a herb that grows up to 2 meters in height. The plant is easily identified by its aromatic rhizomes or roots. The leaves and rhizomes of Ikalamuzi have a cinnamon aroma, especially when crushed. Ikalamuzi can grow just about anywhere as long as there is enough water in the soil. The plant is indigenous to Southeast Asia, but is widely distributed in America, Europe and Africa. It is a globally traded plant that can be used to make traditional medicine remedies, perfumes, oils, and food and drink flavorings. The leaves and rhizomes or roots of Igalamuzi plant are the parts that are extensively used in traditional medicines. The rhizome of Igalamuzi has been used in Chinese and Indian traditional medicine for almost 2,000 years. So this plant has a long history of use in not just India and China, but also in many systems of medicines. This includes Ayurveda, obviously Unani, Siddha, Chinese, Native American, Indonesian, Greek, as well as African traditional medicine. So let's explore how the different systems of medicines have used Ikalamuzi. In South Africa, Ikalamuzi is a popular component of the Zulu traditional medicine. Its rhizomes are used to relieve flatulence and treat gastrointestinal disorders. In the Cape, Ikalamuzi rhizomes are used to treat diarrhea. In Europe, the juice of the rhizome is used as a tonic as well as an aphrodisiac and the fragrant oils from the rhizomes are used as flavorings in alcoholic beverages as well as food. Ikalamuzi is also used to treat toothache and respiratory ailments. Lastly, in Europe, Ikalamuzi is used to treat inflammation and pain in the joints, tissues, as well as muscles. In the Indian traditional medicine or Ayurveda, Ikalamuzi is used as a rejuvenator of the brain and nervous system. The rhizomes of Ikalamuzi are used to treat mental ailments such as epilepsy, loss of memory, hysteria, insomnia, and psychoneurosis. The juice of the rhizomes is used as a stimulant that relaxes spasms and is restorative to the brain and nervous system, especially after a stroke. The Ikalamuzi rhizome paste, which is also known in India as basambu, is mixed with honey and given to babies to help ensure proper brain development and speech ability. The juice from the rhizome stimulates the nervous system to help with things like depression. The juice also improves speech in stuttering. In India, Igalamuzi rhizome can also be used in various forms. So Igalamuzi can be used as a powder, it can be used as a balm, it can be used as enemas, as pills, as a tonic, as well as ghee. So in India, ghee is clarified butter and it's used in cooking. In Ayurvedic medicine, the rhizomes are also used to treat chronic diarrhea, cough, asthma, fever, and to stimulate appetite. Native American tribes use Ikalamozi as an anesthetic for tooth and headaches. 
The Aboriginal Americans use Ikalamuzi to treat diabetes, and there have been cases reported of Native Americans who cured diabetes after chewing Ikalamuzi for several months. In America and Indonesia, Ikalamuzi is used to treat gastro intestinal disorders such as diarrhea, colic pain, gas, bloating, and poor digestion. <clears throat> Ancient Chinese used ikalamuzi to lessen swelling and for constipation. And ancient Egyptians used the leaves and rhizomes of Ikalamuzi to make perfumes and sacred oils. Ikalamuzi was also found in the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. In general, Ikalamuzi is used to treat ailments such as chest pains, cramps, diarrhea, digestive disorders, flatulence, gas, indigestion, nervous disorders, appetite loss, bronchitis, inflammation and pain, as well as vascular disorders. Powdered rhizomes and essential oils can be used as an insecticide against fleas and insects. You can add ikalamuzi to rice when storing it to prevent loss from insects. If you chew tobacco or ufaka isnaif imlonyeni, like in between uh, your teeth and your like in your gums, and you want to quit doing that, you want to quit chewing tobacco, you can chew the rhizome of ikalamuzi to kill the taste of tobacco. So it will help you uh, quit. Ikalamuzi has such a long-standing history that it was even mentioned in Exodus 30 verse 23 in the Old Testament of the Bible. So that's it for this video. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye.